Hey guys, welcome to Podkins, and welcome to my co-host today, Michael Webkins. Hey Janelle. Thanks for being with me today. No problem. First things first, we want to send a huge congratulations to our Design and Webkins winner. Oh yeah, congrats. Yes, their name is Four Accounts, and they won with their cool design for a Decade Dragon. Cool, I love that name, Decade Dragon. And <laughs> and they came up with it themselves. We had nothing to do with that one, yeah. but it's a great name yes. and a great pet. For sure, we were blown away by their design. So now that it's been chosen, it's sort of going into the process where we're going to start designing it. And we're going to start sharing the process with you on Webkin's News. Cool. I love that to be able to see the concept drawings of like a PSI, PSF and all Mm -hmm. that stuff. It's like totally behind the scenes look into Webkin. So it's pretty exciting. Definitely. Now, also, the Spring Fling Mega Challenge has begun. We want you to know that you can click the icon in your room to begin. It's a bit of a tough one, but you'll win some amazing spring prizes. Yeah, and you know what? Actually, we had a Spring Fling Challenge last year. It wasn't a mega challenge, but it was still a pretty cool challenge. And the actual grand prize for last year was the Spring Fling Ticket Booth. And we're giving away that prize again this year, just in case if you didn't get it last year, or maybe you want a second one. But it's actually one of the first prizes you win. That's how epic this challenge is. (laughs) There's some really cool prizes. And I believe you have until the end of May to finish it. Absolutely. You know what? Because it's a mega challenge, some of the tasks take some time to uh, complete. Yes. So we're giving you three months. <laughs> but don't but don't wait till last minute, I'm telling no. you, because you don't want to be rushing at the end. Just take your time, do a little bit each day, and uh, you'll pass that one, no problem. Absolutely. Now, shall we check what's in our Kins Post? Sure. In our last episode, we asked you for great St. Patrick's Day party ideas, and you had tons. Fairy 16 Flowers said, here's an idea for a St. Patrick's Day decoration. Take a smooth, rounded rock that you can get from the beach. Then use craft paint and a paintbrush to paint the rock any color but blue. (laughs) Once it dries, use green craft paint to paint a four-leaf clover in the middle. Enjoy. Cool. Wait, but I don't understand why any color but blue. Is it supposed to be any color but green? I don't know, actually. Maybe there's something to do with blue you can't paint over it. Oh, okay. Potentially. Maybe the green doesn't show up so much on the Or maybe blue. green and blue don't go great together. It's an interesting idea. But what happens if you don't live close to the beach? I was just going to say that. <laughs> You'll just have to go looking for rocks somewhere else. Yeah, actually, when we go to a cottage every year. And last year, I collected actually a couple of rocks from the beach. So it doesn't have to be, you know, the beach at the ocean. It can just be <laughs> some beach uh, near a lake. Absolutely. Yeah. Glittering Duck wrote, for St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to log into Webkins, of course, and video chat with family in Ireland. Oh, my gosh. How cool is that? That's very cool. I bet their family in Ireland has so many great plans for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, you've been to Ireland, haven't you, Janelle? I have a few times, actually. It's a wonderful place. Nice. I've never been. It's on the list for sure, Mm -hmm. but uh, I'd love to go. Well, St. Patrick's Day is a big deal over there, too. Oh, my gosh. That would be... Imagine going to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day, how much (laughs) fun that would be. Yeah, definitely. Were you there for St. Patrick's Day? I was there very close to St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And my friends were there, too, and they reported that it was a fantastic time. I picked the the St. Patrick's Day celebrations in Ireland just going on throughout the whole month of March. I think that's pretty much what happens. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and all year round. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Alexis emailed to say, hi, Podkins. Something I like about St. Patrick's Day is that we get to wear green that day at school. That is so fun. I know that there are some schools where there's like a dress code, right? Oh, right. So on that day, it's really nice that they get to wear the color green. That's true. You know what? There's a parade in yeah. in our city and colors and, and all the green <laughs> that you see in that parade and the face paint and the top hats and everything. It's pretty <laughs> cool. So uh, that's a good idea. Go to the parade after school and you're all dressed up, ready to go. Exactly. Mackenzie also emailed and said, I like St. Patrick's Day and I'm going to dress up my pet with green. I will also wear green. I think I'm going to try and throw a shamrock party on Webkins. I'm going to invite my real life best friend and many of my other friends. It will be so much fun and I cannot wait. I love Podkins, so thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, Mackenzie. Yeah, you know what? Dressing up your pet for the holidays or themed to the holidays is a really good idea. Then you can, you know, go to the clubhouse and the park <laughs> and show off your costume. Yeah. It's pretty cool because, I mean, every every holiday that we have on Webkins, you know, there's usually some pieces of clothing that you can get to really dress your pet and celebrate that holiday. So good idea. Definitely. Cherry Cheesecake wrote, my mom always makes an awesome St. Patrick's dinner where almost everything is green. She even put green food coloring in milk one year. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's pretty creative. I love this. Wait, but does that mean that everything is green, like everything is a vegetable? Like, what about if it's like broccoli or Brussels sprouts? I don't know, but I'm picturing <laughs> maybe mashed potatoes with green Ooh. food coloring. I guess, I don't know. I want, What would be a main course that is green? I guess if you have food coloring, you can make it almost anything. 
Yeah, or or just a salad. Then there you go. <laughs> nice and easy. Salad with green peppers and, and cucumbers. Daisy Doe would like that, wouldn't she? Totally. <laughs> well, Cherry Cheesecake is going to have to comment again and tell us exactly what food was there. Yeah. We want to know. <laughs> totally. All right. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you want to write to us, leave a comment in the section below this article or on YouTube or email us at podkins at gans.com. There is so much to do in Webkin's world this March for St. Patrick's Day. First off, we got the Leprechaun Chase. Between March 9th and the 17th, look for the Webkin's Leprechaun in the clubhouse to collect jelly coins. Fun. Yes, collect all six and you'll win a gorgeous Leprechaun stained glass window. Yeah, and that window is pretty cool. We sneak peeked it on news. Yes. It, it, it's an amazing item and it would Stunning. look awesome in any room. I love this event. It's a little difficult though because mm-hmm. something like Countdown to Christmas, when you have to go find Miss Birdie in the clubhouse, she's always there. Mm-hmm. So it makes it really easy just to go over, click on her, get your gift. But for the leprechaun chase, it's actually a little tricky. He's not always there. So you never know when he's going to appear. Mm-hmm. Um, he could appear in any room in the clubhouse and he only appears there for one minute. So you got to be quick and, <laughs> and click on him. But every single time you click on him, you're going to get one of those jelly coins. You collect all six and then you're going to win that stained glass window. So be patient. I, I personally actually like to wait in one room okay. um, until he shows up. I think that's a good strategy. Yep. You can also go jumping from room to room, but, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you might miss him. So hang out in a room like, you know, Daisy Doe's Diner because it's green for St. Patrick's <laughs> there Day. There you go. And uh, wait for that leprechaun to appear. So, uh, yes. so yeah, March 9th to 17th, be Good. on the lookout for the leprechaun. Good luck to everyone. Totally. <laughs> also happening this year is the Shamrock Floaty Cookie. Between March 9th to the 17th, look for the floating shamrock in Webkin's World and click it up to three times a day to receive one of five random St. Patrick's Day prizes. Nice. So while you're waiting for that leprechaun in the clubhouse, you can also be looking for that floating shamrock. So. Mm-hmm. And if you want to see the prizes, they're also on webkinsnews.com. Yeah, they're food prizes. There's a few that are new this year. I love food prizes because they're really cool to collect and and display in a fridge and stuff. So uh, actually last year we had a chocolate covered jelly coin as a prize and we're we're releasing a new color this year. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Plus, don't forget to log into webkins.com on Tuesday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day to receive a special gift, a beautiful pair of emerald slippers. Cool. I love those slippers. They're gorgeous. Actually, I I think we talked about this before, but it reminds me of uh, Wizard of Oz. Yes. They have the ruby slippers in Wizard of Oz and then <laughs> yeah. the Emerald City. So this is like combining those two ideas and you get emerald slippers. Mm-hmm. Yes. And if you happen to have some clothing for St. Patrick's Day from previous years, you can combine them with the emerald slippers and it makes a pretty great costume. So in our Kins Post uh, segment, we had Mackenzie who was talking about dressing up her pet for St. Patrick's Day. Imagine dressing up your pet in those emerald slippers. It's like the perfect finishing piece for that costume. Yes. We hope to see all of you in the Kinsville Park celebrating on March 17th. So, Michael, do you have any St. Patrick's Day traditions? You know what? A few years ago, I was living in Montreal, and we made sure to go to the St. Patrick's Day parade every single year. They closed off the main street, and it was pretty exciting, pretty awesome. But you know what? I haven't gone to the St. Patrick's Day parade in a few years. Maybe I should do that this year. But that was a tradition in the past. But what about you? Um, A lot of my traditions had to do with school, like a lot of our listeners. So we would have things where you could come and dress up in green. And um, there was gold decorations everywhere. And of course, you know, I love the chocolate and the food. Yeah. (laughs) So there was often green colored food everywhere. So, yeah, you know what is pretty funny? I always remember this. My friend in elementary school, his family was from Ireland. And he always claimed, and this is kind of crazy. I never saw it. But he always claimed that in the family that was passed down from generation to generation, he had this tiny jacket and it was like a tiny almost tuxedo and they took it in for testing and they said that this tuxedo the stitching was so fine that a human hand (gasps) could not have sewn this jacket and when it was dated there weren't any sewing machines or machinery that could have stitched it so tiny so you know, a tiny jacket from Ireland, <laughs> uh, stitches so tiny that, you know, couldn't have been done with a human hand. I've always wow. remembered that story and it, and it's always intrigued me. So I don't know how, how true it is, but also I don't know why this guy would be making something like that up. But he's he brought it up, I remember, a long time ago, but it's just always stuck. How mysterious. Me. Very mysterious. And you know what? I think uh, Leprechaun Co. Mm. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe a leprechaun was kind of hanging out in the field and took a nap at a rock or something <laughs> and it saw somebody had to run away and just forgot his jacket. I don't know. That's what I picked. I up. would love to know. Maybe we'll know one day. <laughs> I have to see if I can find that guy. 
<laughs> and then maybe he can show me the jacket. You'll have to update us when you do. Okay. <laughs> All right, so with spring on the way, our next episode will be all about the great outdoors. We'll be talking about the adventure park and all the fun you can have with your pets outside. Nice. I I can't wait for spring. It's been a long, cold winter. And spring means that Webkin's Day is just around the corner. Yes. And as everybody knows by now, it's our 10th year anniversary, and it's pretty exciting this year. There's lots of stuff happening, so make sure you're here on April 29th Mm -hmm. and yeah, to enjoy everything that we're going to be putting on for Webkin's Day this year. Plus, we will have tons of sneak peeks on Podkins, so keep listening before Webkin's Day to find out more. Now, have you ever explored the Adventure Park? What's your favorite area or kins to visit? Do you and your pet enjoy playing outdoors together? What kind of games do you play? We'd love to hear your stories. Let us know by emailing us at podkins at gans.com or leaving a comment in the section below the article. You could be featured in our next episode. See you next time. See you guys.